Uh, hi guys, Tausten here. So basically, uh, I would like to do a series of uh, back to basic kind of uh, modding information. So this is the uh, video on a three-way switch setup for a live center breaking. So uh, maybe the next video I can look into the uh, dead center model breaking and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, for this, let's take a look at the diagram. Uh, basically, you have uh, basically two options. Uh, like I said over here, this option one. Okay, there'll be a way to wire it such that the uh, revving is uh, independent of the trigger. And the second option is only when you rev, then the uh, trigger will be supplied with the uh, power. So let's just take a look at the uh, this setup first. So you have a rev trigger, the, uh, sorry, the rev switch, the trigger, and then of course the uh, the uh, switch that detects the um, pusher, whether is it in uh, extended or not. So for example, if the... Uh, push is extended you can see that the switch will be released and now uh, when it's back and then the switch will be depressed so at the uh, stable state uh, when the push is returned this switch should be depressed all right so uh, likewise you have a ref switch over here okay so if you were to depress it and then uh, then uh, the connection will change so this is the normal switch that we use uh, we have a common a normally closed and a normally open so normally close is basically the connection we hear when the when you uh, the micro switch is not depressed. So when you depress it, okay, you can see that the uh, connection will then switch to uh, this way. So it's now very easy for you to trace okay, where the uh, power will end up. I mean, it will be supplied. So let's take a look at uh, when you depress the ref. So when you depress the ref, you can see that uh, now okay you have a connection over here to here hence now this circuit is completed and then uh, of course the uh, flywheel will rev right so now if you take a look at the uh, trigger itself so if i depress the trigger okay let's look at when everything is not depressed you only depress the rev what's going to happen to the circuit above so if you would trace the circuit above okay you supply voltage here by end up in the here so there's no connection so nothing will be uh, flowing through okay then next you have another red line here again you reach uh, here nothing is being uh, connected so again nothing will flow through hence there's no uh, movement for your pusher now what happens when you depress the uh, trigger button i mean the micro switch now you depress this so hence uh, now this connection will be connected hence you have a have a voltage supply all the way to the uh, pusher itself here so this will this will move the pusher now how about this switch over here it is not depressed so it's still not connected so nothing will, nothing will trigger anything so how about this line this line is connected here to connect it here however it will terminate here so no further connection so again this is not going to take effect so you realize when you depress the trigger You'll, you'll be activating uh, you'll be activating the pusher right and then uh, um, so how about if I release the uh, ref itself so if I release okay you realize this circuit okay, is still intact hence that's why I say that this is independent of the pusher mechanism now you might want to ask uh, why do I want to do this okay well uh, if you were to implement this uh, you can easily change it into a MOSFET uh, so that this controls the gate and then the, uh, the rest will be uh, the gate of the MOSFET and then the rest is the same so this is one and if you have a physical lock uh, such that you can only depress the rev and then you can be allowed to depress the trigger then of course this is a simpler circuit as well now let's look at the motor braking now once you depress the trigger this the pusher uh, we have established that uh, the connection is here so yeah the, the pusher will be moving so what's going to happen to this switch? Is it going to have any effect on the circuit itself? Let's take a look. So when it's uh, in, like mentioned just now, uh, here will be terminated because of this connection is not connected. Here, although it's connected, but here it's not connected. So nothing nothing actually happens. Now if the pusher, pusher is out, what's going to happen to the circuit? Here will be connected, connected to here, connected to here. Again, it will end up here. Again, no connection. This line, no connection. So it's actually ne it's not going to affect anything at all for this switch. Okay, it's not going to do anything when the trigger is down. Okay, when it's in uh, or, or 
on or off it doesn't really matter so that's why you know your pusher will keep on uh, uh sort of carry on and uh, push push out the dots now let's look at the scenario when the uh, push is out and you release the trigger in fact that's what we want to do want, want to handle so we have to release the trigger okay so let's take a look this now that it will be terminated here so this connection is no longer active so there's no longer any supply to the pusher but now the pusher is out what's going to happen however this switch is being released so the connection is now here 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 and if you follow it down here now it's actually connected to here through this line and back, back up to here hence this will be active so again this will be active so when the pusher is out this switch actually caused this circuit to be completed and make your pusher active again that gives you give the pusher a chance to have power to move back uh, to close the uh, to to be in the original position so eventually the pusher is going to reach the uh, switch and depress it like this so once it's depressed what is going to happen okay this will lose its connection however this will be connected here and it's connected here connected here and if you follow it will be connected here connected here connected here here and then now this line okay instead of a uh, positive it actually becomes a negative the ground and here is also the ground hence these two ground will cause the motor breaking to occur and this will shock, uh, stop your push up very fast now motor breaking you can make both positive or both negative so in this case we have both both the uh, negative and uh, this will cause the motor breaking so what's the disadvantage of a life center well uh, if you if you think of the scenario where by now you close the circuit motor breaking is going to happen however motor breaking is not immediate there's still a little bit of time so if your ROF, ROF is extremely high there is a possibility whereby before the motor brake can stop in time the pusher is extended again now if the pusher is extended again you realize that okay this will cause the connection to be live again now if it's live again then of course it's going to you know, uh, be very fast and then try to go back so there is a potential of a runaway if you do the uh, uh, life center braking yeah so that's one thing one thing to think about now let's move on to option two so let's take a look okay let's think about option two so what's option two basically now option two well these two circuits is independent of each other is because of this line right because you're tapping the power straight from the um, battery itself so all you need to do is to consider that and, and uh, do the necessary changes instead of tapping the power from here now you can tap the power when only when the ref button is being supplied so where will that be well uh, this is the ref switch power is here only when you on the ref then this connection will be active and here we will have the so-called the power right so all we need to do is to do this right connect it to the ref now again uh there, there is uh, some scenario that whereby you need to consider so for example i press the ref now i have power then i press the uh, trigger <coughs> now then you have uh, so-called complete the circuit again from here and then the pusher will move however if i were to release the ref right now okay and then that means here will be deprived of power straight away so there is no longer a supply of uh, any voltage to this push pusher anymore so what's going to happen well uh, the motor is not going to stop immediately it's just going to wind down uh, as per normal uh, like the flywheel when you rev you release you hear the ra ra uh, revving down of the motor same goes to the pusher uh, if there's no motor braking all right, by the way uh, guys uh, later on i'll do a physical demonstration with a physical setup to demonstrate all this scenario for you to have a look anyway so so that is a possibility right you're slowly wind down in rather than breaking which which will cause the um, motor pusher to be to be end up in any position sorry let me just uh, any position for example you might end up here 
while you are still pressing on the trigger although i do not know why you want to press on the trigger while releasing the rev but that is a possible scenario but that's not the end of the world because eventually you're going to release the trigger anyway so for example once you release you realize that this circuit quickly becomes the uh the supply right and then it actually activates uh the uh push again and then uh, eventually uh this will move back and then everything will stop so it's, it's it's sort of still quite uh convenient in a way yeah so if the rf is not so high and you are managed to set up the yeah uh, life center and you do not have a physical switch to control the stopping the uh, trigger while not rev then uh, maybe you can go for this yeah so that's um that's my uh, uh video on the uh three-way switch live center setup uh we'll proceed to the uh physical demonstration uh, thanks all right so now let's let's take a look at the physical representation of the circuit itself so i'll go for the one that uh the, the option will work by the ref is uh, independent of the trigger so you can see you can press the uh, ref trigger your ref um, you can press the trigger and the trigger will move so this circuit is such that it's independent of one another so um, later on I'll show you the one that uh, only when you rev you can uh, depress the trigger so uh, next I'll demo that uh, when you press the trigger this uh, switch have no effect at all if you switch uh, turn on and off let's try that right so you can see that uh, when the trigger is uh, depressed this switch have no effect so later on let's look at uh, when I depress the trigger after I release um, when the pressure returns you have a motor break let's try that so now you have no effect so assuming the trigger is out I release I will re I mean the pressure is out I release the trigger it's still moving because of this switch once the uh, pusher returns and close this circuit observe the brake so this is how the uh, motor braking works so this switch uh, will continue to supply uh, power for this hence it's called the life center right so this is the first uh, option so the second option all you need to do is to instead of supplying the power as you can see this is the one that supply the power all the way from the battery itself okay instead of that I will connect this source of power to be coming from when only when you depress this switch let me just fix this okay so let's take a look at the second setup which is only a change of this wire to receive the uh, power from the switch so now if you depress the trigger there's no uh, power for the for the pusher motor now when I depress the rev then the trigger then it moves uh, sorry I forgot to on I forgot to on the power okay let's try it again again it's not gonna move now I depress the rev and then the trigger then you move okay there we go now observe uh, if I depress the rev the trigger release the ref you realize this this bottle is going to wind down it does not stop immediately you wind down so there's no motor braking and also um, when you depress the ref okay so so in this case the uh, pusher can be anywhere now but there's also another uh, thing uh, you are eventually going to release the trigger so let's assume if the motor is the pusher is out so it's open now if the motor is restart and you release the trigger you straight away turn on the motor again and then when it returns again you break so um so i guess it's not really a very big disadvantage if you if you think, on, think about it that way because eventually you're going to release the trigger anyway and uh, most of the time we don't really uh, re re release the uh, ref for no good reason and hold on to the trigger so yeah so this is the second option uh, whereby you can uh, 
think of how you can implement your motor brake so why do we still need the first option well uh, if you think about it if I if I were to just reconnect back okay this is a case whereby it's independent well now now this this circuit will be very easy for you to just replace this portion if you want to run it in MOSFET right so instead of using a, a switch for the uh, to complete the circuit use the switch to uh, basically control the gate of the MOSFET and the rest will be simple yeah so you can use this circuit if you want if you want to use an end channel MOSFET yeah so on tungsten so this is a physical representation thanks Uh, by the way guys uh, i've i've uh, posted up a design on redbubble.com you can just search for tungsten exe you'll be able to find this uh, design of a t-shirt uh, basically it's designed by my friend and uh, you can uh, i make it into a t-shirt and you can uh, purchase it over there and uh, also if you scroll down okay you can find that uh, i also make it uh, available in different products so you can search on more products in fact there's uh okay, various different type to select from I believe it uh, make a good uh, gift for maybe Christmas. So if you would like to support the channel, please visit the website. Just search, search for Tungsten EXE on redbubble.com. You have iPhone cases, bookmarks, uh, even stickers uh, for you to select from. So thanks for your support. I'm Tungsten. Bye.